Hello, welcome to Marana Festo, wherein I note this week that people are starting to prepare for the festival season in a series of fashion spreads in all the hot mags. As a woman, I can tell you now that I have never once seen a practical piece of advice in a magazine on women attending festivals. Whilst men are told to prepare themselves for what is basically a massive, messy stag party in the countryside, bidden to concern themselves with little more than tying a novelty balloon to their tent. Use two pink ones. Then, when you get lost, walk towards the floating boobies. Women are instructed in the ways of festival going as if it was some kind of exhausting, high-maintenance season of festival haircuts, followed by festival waxing, festival outfit buying, festival bunting for my tent purchasing, and working out what your festival Instagram vibe's going to be in advance. I'm here to tell you now, sod all of that. Sod all of that into a big jester's hat and wang it into the latrines. Here's my Festival Truth Bomb offensive to instruct the ladies on how exactly to enjoy a festival, you know, like men do, rather than compete in it like it's some weird, muddy, nitrous adult episode of America's Next Top Model. 1. Hot Pants. Don't wear hot pants. Hot pants might be fine in a club-like environment, indoors, but you are outdoors now, my darlings. In heat, your British upper thighs, which are wholly unaccustomed to the sun, will essentially turn into two gigantic hog roasts, and you'll be making crackling in the sun for the rest of the weekend. In all other weathers, meanwhile, they will freeze. If you sit on a rustic wooden bench, of which there are many at festivals, you'll be picking splinters out of your buttocks for the rest of the weekend. And, of course, should you sit on grass, ants will form an orderly queue to march right up inside you and make nests in your uterus. That's just science. For ladies, nature has much to fear. Indeed, as a general rule of thumb, don't wear anything Kate Moss would wear at a festival. Kate Moss likes to rock a suede boot at a festival, but then Kate Moss has never had to sit crying, scrubbing three inches of encrusted clay off a suede booty a week after a festival using her toothbrush. Moss has also been seen wearing all-in-one play suits at festivals, but then Moss has access to a heated backstage Winnebago toilet. You, on the other hand, do not, meaning that your trip to the toilet wearing a play suit will involve you drunk in a pitch-dark portaloo at 4am, stripping naked to your waist with everything in your now-upside-down pockets falling onto the floor into poo. I will be honest with you, I have seen performance artists at Glastonbury walking around dressed as giant sausages, and their outfits were infinitely more suitable than anything Kate Moss has ever worn at a festival. 3. Alcohol. You are temporarily in an environment where it's easier to get a functioning wizard's hat than it is to go to the toilet. If you're drinking, you're going to want maximum impact for minimum liquid. This means no pints. If a pint's going in, a pint has to come back out again, and that, at a festival, is a lengthy procedure. My personal well-tested tactic is to purchase the cheapest bottle of spirits available to man, something genuinely nasty and brewed in Lithuania and only available petrol stations under the counter, and then I decant a tiny tot into every beverage I have. It's warming, it's festive, it's equally at home in coffee or a coke, and in extremis, the really abrasive stuff is capable of being sloshed over your campfire to kickstart it in the morning. Sex. There's a general myth about festivals that they are a hotbed of licentiousness and filth, that you are essentially obliged to pump your way through the weekend. But women, you must remember the key caveat of life, which is remember to fear cystitis. Fear cystitis a lot. Although I am a massive fan of sexual intercourse, I would never do anything that would increase my chances of a urinary tract infection in an environment where going to the toilet is an hour-long commitment minimum. Do you want to gamble on the robustness of your urethra this weekend of all weekends? I would say give sex a swerve. Have chips instead. They are a perfectly serviceable alternative. When the band comes on, it's very important that you do not stand or sit on your boyfriend's shoulders, punching the air and singing. There's a word to the wise here. Literally everyone will hate you if you do this. Everyone will hate you so much. The people standing behind you who now can't see. Your boyfriend whose spine is gradually compacting down to a single sobbing, throbbing vertebrae. The band who, when your face appears on the giant screen, can see that you don't actually know the lyrics and that you're going... Nye, nye, nye. 
Simply never do this. Ever. It's the biggest dick move available to a woman at a festival. Just stay on the fucking floor like everyone else. The last thing I need to tell you about is memories. Your intention going to a festival is that you're going to fill Facebook and Instagram with shots of all the incredible things that are going to happen to you. Fantastic pictures of you all dancing and cheering and making new friends. That 240 shot folder marked Glastonbury's going to be awesome. No, it's not. Let me tell you now to relieve the pressure that you will take a sum total of four pictures during your entire festival. The first one will be on the coach on the way there of everyone looking wildly overexcited and doing thumbs up. The second will be of everyone having their first fag after they've put the tent up, which you will caption, Welcome to Glastonbury! The madness begins! The third will be an accidental shot of your leg at 4am when you're using your iPhone as a torch to find your tent. And the last one will be a picture of you and your friends pulling up into the first service station on a Monday morning, utterly shell-shocked and seeming endearingly overexcited about the idea of using a proper toilet for the first time in four days. You will try and show these pictures to everyone. No one will want to look at them. Because there's only one thing more boring than people telling you about their dreams, and it's people telling you about the festival they've just been to, which is why I'm going to shut up now. I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Everyone out there has one idea that would make the world a better place, and I want you to tell me yours.